So number one is not having enough stomach acid. I rail on this all the time, right? So you're going to see here out of the gate, not enough stomach acid. That's a big one. Um, when that happens, it starts to allow the environment microbes to overgrow. Stomach acid is antimicrobial. So it starts to inhibit bacterial overgrowth when stomach acid is high. And when it starts to drop, then bacteria can start to have a feeding frenzy. That's a big deal too. People off, often mistake it for high acid, but it's not. Usually what's happening is the acid also triggers the esophageal sphincter to close. So when you have digestion happening, you make this hormone called or this kind of peptide called gastrin that triggers acidity. It also triggers the esophageal sphincter, the LES to close. When it doesn't close, that's where that acid can rise up. And also if we don't have enough acid, what also tends to happen is we have fermentation and rotting happening of the food. And that rotting of the food creates its own organic acids. And those acids rise up and can burn the throat. That's actually a really big deal. That's common. Now with GERD, maybe silent, but still allow acid in the throat. So we have the lower esophageal sphincter. That's when GERD happens. LES dysfunction is often the starting point for both GERD and LPR, right?